Huh? Huh? Did you go back in? Good boy. Huh? Plutz! How do you get the focus that you just saw? Plutz! It's by using a toy, often. So whether you realize it or not, it looks so awesome when they're just really paying attention. But when he's at my side, what he's looking at is the toy. Plutz! Now, he's just beginning, all right? But I can sometimes, especially with a new dog, I'll put the toy right here, so therefore he focuses right here. But as he gets better, or I'm wearing different pants, I might put it in my pocket or the small of my back. But the bottom line is, is that I'm teaching him, if you watch me, at some point, that toy will come. So he's looking, just waiting. And if he looks away, I'm gonna correct him and go the other direction. But then when he looks back at me, I re reward with a toy. And it looks a little bit like this. Push. Come on. See, he knows that that at some point, if I just keep watching, that toy is gonna be coming out and I'm gonna say break and play. Break. Boy, huh? And then I play with him. Easy. That's a good boy, huh? So he's having a good time. Let's us. He spits it out. Now, aus and plots are commands that I'm gonna do off, not right here. I taught those out of this game. But the whole point is he's on, ready to go. Plutz. Now, if I was gonna start to walk, he's laying here. If he was looking ahead, I wouldn't start walking. I would wait like right now, he's not looking at me, watch. Foos, Plutz. I'm gonna smile, that's what I wanted. Look at that focus. Boos, and that's how you start. And then if I want to, I can toss the toy. In general, in the beginning, you're always gonna wanna roll to the right because you want that dog rolling into you. Aus, plots. Plots means lay down. Clear my line. Push. I always go to the right. So when I'm going to the right, I'm just drawing him in. Now, let's say I wanna change direction. I slow my pace down for the left. I'm going to invite him. Now I'm not going to, if he looks away, I'm not going to reward that. Hey, now I have focus. I'm going to reward that. Break. Okay. If I want to change directions, I'm also going to change speed. Again, if he looks straight or looks to the right, I'm not going to reward that. I'm going to instantly go right. And the minute he looks, reward comes. So the whole point is when I'm watching her, at some point, I'm gonna break and reward. In the beginning, I might take three or four steps and reward. The better he gets, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend the work and start to limit the, the reward to make him wait longer. Foos! See how he looked awake? I corrected. Boy, huh? Now I want to do a figure eight. Slow down. He drops back. Hey, good boy. And that's great. When he's focusing on a figure eight right there, he wasn't expecting the toy. He was a little low in drive there. What, huh? You always want to leave the dog wanting more as well. But notice how I have such beautiful focus, attention. I slow down. He drops. Come on. I'm showing him. Come on. Drops back. Now I'm going to pick it up. Good boy, huh? Good boy, come on. Come on. And as long I never reward unless I have the look, the picture that I'm wanting. Also, you gotta know when your dog's getting tired and you always wanna leave him wanting more. So I'm gonna do one more round, but I'm gonna make sure I end with him watching me, focusing, because I wanna imprint the picture that gets him what he wants, which is this toy. And again, later on down the line, this can be in my pocket or in the small of my back. Foos! Come on, come on. Huh? Come on. Good boy. Huh? I'm sitting there and you want to end. Hey, what? Huh? Huh? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just like that. You work a dog like this, they have a great time and it is absolutely so much fun for the handler. Have a good day. Till the next lesson, we just thank you so much for listening. We hope you gained some value. 
And again, your dog will never be what you want him to be until you're the leader they need you to be. And we just thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.